announcing my candidacy for the presidency of the United States. One day I was in talking to him and I said, well, Senator, why do you want this? Why are you doing this? You don't have much of a record. You're looked on as a rich boy, a rich man's son, somewhat of a playboy. Uh, it seems to me that all the disadvantages are on your side. Why, why do this? I remember he looked across the desk. He said, because I want it. By July 1960, John F. Kennedy had momentum that no one could stop, and he was nominated for president on the first ballot at the Democratic Party convention. And I can assure all of you here who have reposed this confidence in me that I will be worthy of your trust. We will carry the fight to the people in the fall, and we shall win. The entire Kennedy family joined the race. Jackie and two-year-old daughter Caroline were out in front with Jack, and nobody worked harder behind the scenes than old Joe Kennedy. Jack respected his father and knew about the many backroom deals he was making. The fact that old Joe was brokering votes in Illinois bothered Jack, but pragmatically, he knew Nixon was doing the same thing. Jack, however, concentrated on the one thing his father couldn't teach him, how to look and act like a president. In September and October of 1960, Jack put his skills to the test in four historic television debates. Though technically a draw, Jack won all points on style. He looked presidential on TV, while Nixon looked, well, bad. America had heard the candidates, went to the polls, and elected a new leader. On November 8, 1960, John Fitzgerald Kennedy became the 35th president of the United States.